Metro police work tirelessly to keep us and all of the tourists that visit Nashville safe. As Nashville hosts more and more major events, the cost of policing those events skyrockets. News Channel 5's Jessica Newton joins us live. And Jesse, the NFL drafts and police well over their budget. Yeah, it's all because of overtime. During the draft alone, officers worked 17,770 hours of overtime, putting the department at nearly half a million dollars over budget with just that one event. Luckily, they'll be able to pay for it. But this is just the new reality in a town that has continuous large events. The NFL draft brought 200,000 people downtown every single day. And luckily, police did not have to deal with any major issues. Police did a phenomenal job, as did all of our emergency services personnel. I mean, it, it really, from an outsider perspective and, and from the city's perspective, it all went off without a hitch. But with so many officers working on overtime, it's put a strain on the police department's budget. As Nashville has grown, special events have grown exponentially. You know, in 2006, to fund our special events budget in the police department, it was less than a million dollars in 2006. Here in 2018, we're in excess of $4 million. That's Metro Police's Don Aaron in an interview from last year. And now in 2019, with the draft and other events, that budget is larger than ever, and they're still going over. Luckily, according to the city, these events are paying for the overtime in a roundabout way. Because of the additional sales taxes that are generated and, and other just economic benefits that we get from the event, I think they more than cover the, the cost of the additional overtime. I mean, that's what we're anticipating with the NFL draft and, of course, with CMA Fest coming up. That's generally the case. And as of now, the police department has not asked for any additional money to pay for their overtime costs. Instead, they're moving money around within their own budget to help pay for the overtime for these large events. Right now, we've been able to keep up the pace, and we're just going to hope that we're going to be able to continue to do that. Now, one thing that is helping is the Nashville Convention and Visitors Corporation is allocating $300,000 to help pay for costs associated with the draft. $200,000 of that should go to police, $100,000 to fire services. Live in Nashville, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5.